This past weekend, I heard we all the professional wrestling, the IW and IWC heard some tragic news that um, yesterday uh, morning, every uh, I woke up and a lot of people were talking about it. Ryan, Rowdy Rowdy Piper died at the age of 61, man, and that was a shocker to me. As I woke up, I was on Facebook and I all I saw was like Rowdy Rowdy Piper, like pictures and links to saying Rowdy Rowdy Piper died at age 61. I mean, what the hell has gone on? I mean, just the last few weeks or the last few months, it's just been a bad time for the old school wrestling guys like myself. I, I know I, I wasn't watching wrestling in the 80s, but they. It's just a terrible thing because these wrestlers from the 80s really made wrestling relevant, like, got, made wrestling awesome. Like, guys like Hulk Hogan, he's getting dumper comments. And then you've got Dusty Rhodes who died it, like, a few months, like a month ago, I think it was, or something like that. And then Rowdy Rowdy Piper died out yesterday. I mean, it's a sad time for the wrestling industry, basically. And. I'm just saying, I'm just going to be able to talk about, really, uh, the link basically says about, I'll send you the link in the description anyway, guys. It basically just tells you, basically, um, about, uh, they don't know what his cause of death was, um, but, um, the probably, it's not been revealed yet, but, uh, uh people are saying that he, uh, it came out of cancer. I don't know, but that's what people were saying on other links. I don't know what it was, but people don't know what it was. So, like I said, we don't know what the cause of death is yet. Nobody's confirmed the cause of his death. Um, we'll probably hear from Dodie.com, whatever, what it, what his death, uh, what his cause of death was in the next few days. So, we'll keep you. They'll probably keep us updated about that anyway. But this guy, I mean, Ryan Ryan Pack was a guy that never became. Uh, and what else was a champion? Or a WWE champion? I mean, he was in NWA, and he was he was never a world champion in WCW. He was, I think, a TV a US champion in WCW. He was a multi-time Intercontinental champion. He was, I think, he was a tag team champion at some point. He had a a big run in the WWE WWF slash WWE in the 80s. He had a he, then he left WWF in the 90s to join WCW for a bit, then after that WCW went out of business, in the early 2000s, 2002-2003 he joined TNA for a few years, then he left TNA, then he went back to WWE in 2005 to get inducted into the Hall of Fame, came back, he, and then he got an RG contract, came back for a few appearances for, to do a few segments on Panthers Pit with guys like Chris Jericho, John Cena, Wade Barrett, The Shield, uh, Randy Orton, I think, was one, and many others. And uh, I think he did a a Piper's pit. Maybe it was late last year. Uh, maybe when Brock Lesnar was in Fury for the WWE title. I don't know. But yeah, and yeah, and he did a few appearances like for the 1000th episode of Raw and stuff like that. But he was an awesome wrestler who had a ton of charisma, great in ring skills, and. It's gonna be a terrible list. I mean, he was one of a kind. He would never get replaced. We will never get another Riley Riley Piper again. Like we will never get another Ric Flair again. Like we will never get a Dusty. Another. We won't get another Dusty Rhodes again. And it's a shame that these guys, unfortunately, you know, have passed away. Dusty Rhodes and Riley Piper have unfortunately passed away. But it's a kind of a sad time. So, uh, yes, yeah, it's a sad. Uh, you know, it's a very very sad time at the minute. For us wrestling fans, especially guys in like wrestling fans in the eighties as well, but not just for wrestling fans in the eighties, but from the nineties. I mean, everybody knows Brian Brian Fenton. It's a very sad moment, and it's been a very sad few days, uh, you know, for Brian Brian Fenton. And I send my condolences to Brian Brian Fenton's family and his friends. I know it's gonna. I know that these next few months are gonna be a hard few months to get all, uh, to grieve. So I send my condolences to you guys. And that was just basically, guys, telling my thoughts, giving you guys my thoughts on, on, uh, giving my tribute to Dust, uh, to, not Dusty Rose, to Rory Rory Piper. So, RIP, Heart Rod, and you'll be remembered forever. Not just from me, but from everybody around the world who was even a non wrestler that even knew you. So, yeah, RIP, Heart Rod. Thank you guys for watching, and please, guys, leave your, uh, 
best moments of Heart Rad in the comment section below guys for this video. Please do Heart Rad. Hashtag RIP Heart Rad. Right now.